All right, so here I have made some analysis to show you guys whether Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 series considers heart rate for calculating calories or not. Have a look at this demonstration. Let me open Samsung Health application here. Let's tap on exercise. Choose workout. Let's go to other workouts. Let's begin. Now here I'm not wearing the watch and hence there is no heart rate data fed into the watch right now. Let's keep it on for about two minutes here. I'll just fast forward the video to make it quick. As you can see, it is showing the calorie burnt information here. These calories are added automatically as part of your estimated basal metabolic rate considering your profile like age, height, weight, etc. It is going to show us the calorie burnt information without the heart rate here. So here in two minutes, five calories are burnt. Now what I'm going to do is I'll wear the watch and start the same process again. I'll start other workout. Now as you can see, the heart rate is being monitored here. The heart rate is anywhere between 80 to 100 here. And you can see the calorie meter is running a bit faster than before. This definitely means when you're wearing a watch and when your heart rate is counted, more calories are burnt. We do burn calories even when we breathe, we sit, we get up, while we sleep, the calories are burnt continuously. And uh, here based on the heart rate counter, the calorie burnt information is calculated. Now the question is when you perform high intensity exercises, whether the heart rate is being considered for calculating calories, that is what you're going to see next. Here again, I'm going to turn on the other exercises mode and what I'll do is I will do some push-ups and come back here. I did about 15 push-ups here in 30 seconds. And as you can see, the heart rate is increasing. It has crossed 120, 130. It is reaching 140. Again, it's coming back to 130. Now let me do some more push-ups again and come back. Another 15 push-ups. As you can see, the heart rate is again going up. It is crossed 140, 145. One forty six, one forty seven, and we are done here. Two minutes of exercise. Here you are seeing the calorie counter as well. It is showing seventeen calories burnt exactly in the same two minutes time with an increased heart rate. So the heart rate zone is different when I was exercising. So definitely there is consideration of heart rate while calculating the calories. That is a good news for sure. As you can see here, the average heart rate was 129 BPM. And here are the heart rate zones. Low intensity for 40 seconds, weight control for 10 seconds, aerobic for one minute 20 seconds. So these are different heart zones it is considering to calculate the calories here. We have all these information available on Samsung Health application on the phone as well. As you can see, the latest exercise here, two minutes. The average heart rate is 129. Maximum heart rate is 147. These are the heart rate zones. And uh, here is workout details. Two minutes workout, total duration. And then we have got 17 calories, workout calories burnt. Total calories burnt 17. Average heart rate 129 and maximum heart rate 147. This is how it's going to display the information on a Galaxy Health application. This is the previous one while wearing the watch without doing any exercise. The average heart rate was 88. 95 was the maximum heart rate. And this is the heart rate zone. It was at low intensity zone. And here is the workout detail. We have burned 10 calories in two minutes with an average heart rate of 88. Now you might be wondering, two minutes of testing could be a little less to demonstrate this, but uh, I have already done the testing for about 14 to 15 minutes. As you can see here, a 14 minutes of exercise, 
with an average heart rate of 118 and uh, with a maximum heart rate of 143, it shows 112 calories burnt. Here is another example, 17 minutes of workout with an average heart rate of 126 and a maximum heart rate of 155, 141 calories are burnt. This analysis do confirm that there is consideration of heart rate zones for calculating the calories, unlike the predecessors such as the Galaxy Watch Active 2, which wasn't considering this. It was only considering the hand movement, and when you are wearing the watch and exercising in the other workouts mode, it wasn't considering the heart rate at all. It was just showing the estimated basal metabolic rate. You can also test it on your Galaxy Watch 4 if you have recently bought it and you can compare it with your Active 2 if you have it with you, it will give you a better idea. Now this information is not official from Samsung so I have done my analysis and I am showing you what I have understood and what I have found out so if you think otherwise make sure to leave a comment. That's all I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I hope this will be helpful for some of you guys who are considering this watch and wondering whether the calorie counter is accurate whether it considers heart rate or not. I hope this video helps you. That's about it. If you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe and leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.